This is Rams Island. I've got the uh, Terra Nova Southern Cross one. This is my new tent. This is my new kind of do a little bit of everything tent. I'll let me show you again later. It's very fast to pitch. You can have that up in like three minutes. But yeah, this place is fascinating. Fire pit, logs, this view. Appreciate it. Maybe be using that tonight. Promised David my unwanted folding saw about three, two months ago. Yeah. No, it was Christmas because I got a new one at Christmas. Christmas, I wish. <laughs> well, uh, do you know it's really annoying when you think you're going to be the only person making a video and then you turn around and <laughs> James is here. <laughs> I'm the Jorries everywhere, in Northern Ireland. Yep. What what what's the crack with this place? <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for some good information here. No, well, there's uh, some ruins just around the down the back of where we are. Yeah. And I think it was like an old house or a manor and the family lived on it. I'm not too sure what the names were. The Rams. It might be, might be Rams. I think it's about a mile long from one side to the other. And you've got the little beach at the end. There's a beach? Oh yeah, a tiny little beach. It's nice there. Yeah. yeah. Right to the beach. It's got all the facilities you need, including public baths. We're all going to come down here in the morning. Go for a mud bath. <laughs> mud bath. Five star it is, five star. Beautiful. Yeah, Sleeve Donard has, doesn't even have this. <laughs> Like three hundred and fifty pound a night, and you don't even get a mud bath. What's that? When did you come here last year? Where is that? Beach. Oh, there's a chair. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> We're walking to the very, very one island, end of the island to the other. It's uh, as David said, it's like it's like a budget version of Land's End, the John O'Groats. <laughs> James here is attempting to cook. Look at this! <laughs> Proper meal on the world. Look at the size of that. It's smaller than my hand. You're cooking what? Steak, onions, and mushrooms. Mushrooms with a little bit. Your ciabatta. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a Philly cheese steak. Beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Tender. <laughs> Morning. Let's take a look at my tent and then we'll go and explore. So this, this is the Southern Cross one. Uh, my personal list of requirements for this tent was as close to 1.5 kilos as possible, fast to pitch, I can put this up in three minutes, the outer and inner pitch at exactly the same time, which is amazing compared to smaller tents that I've used. Um, it basically had to be, it just had to be big enough to fit me, my stuff. It's not massive, um, but it's, there's like enough space, I've got like a bit where I can sleep. And then I've got enough storage space there where I can just dump everything. Decent porch area, so I can get, you know, my bag in and I can get all my cooking stuff. You know, and have a porch that I could cook in. Had to be freestanding, because um, something I find is when I camp in the mountains, I always put the tent up and then realise I should have put it somewhere else. This way I can just lift the whole tent up and, and move it. There's a couple of pockets here. There's some hanging loops up here. And this seems to tick all the boxes. And it's also four season. Last night was one of the warmest nights I've had in a tent ever. I don't know how it works, how these like different layers of material work, but I could not believe how warm it was in here. Let's go explore Rams Island.
to you than what's been doing my nuts since five o'clock this morning. <laughs> Some kind of weird turkey duck. The toilets are in an old barge. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened here overnight. There's a guinea fowl up that tree. I didn't know they could fly or climb trees. Boat's leaving in three minutes. Uh, <laughs> 